grade level science unit 6 sub unit 3 excretion excretion now first let us uh, understand what is meant by this term excretion now in our bodies our bodies are made of cells in all these cells always chemical reactions occur chemical reactions occur in all the cells always now you know that respiration that is oxidation of glucose to release energy you have done this process C6 H2L O6 plus oxygen carbon dioxide and water are the products energy is released now this is an example for a chemical reaction that takes place in our cells always. Similarly, many other chemical reactions also occur inside cells. Now, these reactions are actually can be uh, these reactions are known as metabolic activities. Metabolic activities or also you can call metabolism. Metabolic activities are the chemical reactions that occur in cells. Now, when metabolic activities or chemical reactions occur inside cells, Some products are formed that we actually need to our body. Some substances uh, that actually form as a result of these reactions, we need them. They are uh, substances that we need that are useful. They are known as secretions they are secretions they are secretory substances enzymes hormones are some examples enzymes hormones are two examples for this now when chemical reactions or metabolic activities occur some substances are formed that actually we need we do not need them we do not need them they are known as excretory substances they are called excretory They are excretory substances as a result of metabolism. As a result of metabolism, useful substances and also unnecessary substances are formed. These unnecessary substances you have to remove from the body. Therefore, they are known as they are known as excretory substances or excretions. The process by which they are removed, uh, we call this actually, we call this excretion. Is the process by which excretory substances are removed from the body. Now, you know that 
carbon dioxide is an example for one excretory substance. Another excretory substance is urea. Also uric acid. Uric acid is formed in very small quantities. Carbon dioxide, urea. Now, when we have excess mineral salts in our body, so they are also should be removed. Mineral salts. And also, when we have excess vitamins in our body, vitamins, excess vitamins. So they also sh should be removed. Unnecessary substances should be removed. This process is excretion. Now, carbon dioxide is given out or removed when we exhale. Carbon dioxide is removed or you can say carbon dioxide is excreted by exhalation. When we exhale, it is removed. Now, urea, urea is actually nitrogenous, nitrogenous waste product is urea and uric acid. Now, urea uh, is removed by two ways. That is, one method is actually by sweat and the other method is uh, with urine. In sweat you have, in sweat you have 98 percent of water, one percent of urea and 1% of you, uh, then actually only one salt can be removed with sweat, that is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. In sweat you have mainly water, urea and sodium chloride. In urea you have 96% of water. 2% urea, 2% other salts, mineral salts, except sodium chloride, except sodium chloride. Now, sweat is formed in, sweat, in the sweat glands. Sweat glands are found in the skin. Now these are sweat glands. Around these you have blood capillaries. From these capillaries, sodium chloride, urea and water are diffused from blood into these sweat glands. This is how sweat is formed and actually sweat is removed here like this. And now urine is urine is produced in the kidneys. In the kidneys that you have to discuss actually in detail a separate lesson. Uh, now urea is given out by sweat also uh, as well as with urine. Now these are the three ways that we remove this uh, metabolic waste. Metabolic 
metabolic waste actually removal of the metabolic waste is known as excretion excretion occurs uh, in three ways with exhaled air carbon dioxide with sweat that is excess water urea some urea and sodium chloride salt and actually with urine water uh, water urea other salts uh, and unnecessary excess vitamins and all that so all these are removed with urine now you have to study uh, this part actually uh, as you write the system by our next by another video video 2 of this uh, unit so this part is very important so we are doing that part uh, structure of the kidney and how urine is produced inside this and how urine is uh, removed all this we are doing uh, by our actually uh, by our next video uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel when actually when you are subscribed so uh, you know when we do some lesson you know it actually so therefore do not forget to uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe uh, to my video channel and also you can do uh, second term exercises uh, unit 6 unit 7 unit 8 unit 9 and unit 10 actually exercises for all these lessons so you have in this workbook there are three workbooks workbook one for the first term workbook two for the second term workbook three for the third term so therefore you can do exercises from this uh, workbook